Hey guys, Scott from Aristocob.com here. Seth from TheShrinkingPastor.com. And together, the three of us, we are Markwood Men's Breakfast Club. And welcome back to Tobacco Advent with our countdown to Christmas. So uh, today we're smoking another one of those tobaccos that I think people love or hate. Okay. Okay, which is probably the true of everything if it's commercially available. Um, but to tell us about this tobacco is Rod, a.k.a. Biscuit. Biscuit. So, Rod, what are we smoking? Hi, Seth. Hi, Scott. One of my least favorite tobaccos is Hazelnut by Lane. It says this has some Golden Virginias and some Burley and a steamed and toasted Cavendish, and then they added Hazelnut. Just don't care for that flavor. All right. Hazelnut. Hazelnut. So, <clears throat> give this... A shot, give it a sniff. We should reset that because I think I was saying back to you in the newsroom as you come back in. Okay, let's. All right, so hazelnut. Does that smell hazel like hazelnut to you? Kind of. Okay, all right, all right. What does it smell like to you? Not hazelnut. Oh, what's hazelnut smell like? It smells. <laughs> It smells like the base of a <clears throat> Nutella, but without the chocolate. I don't ever eat Nutella. Did you know? You wouldn't be able to tell the taste of hazelnut and Nutella. Did you know that Nutella was a wartime, I think, food? A staple? No. Um, that it was, it was designed uh, due to a chocolate shortage. I did know that. <clears throat> So they're, they're able to get that. the flavor of chocolate, or so they say, with out. very little chocolate. That makes sense. Okay. Hazelnut. Let's go back to Biscuit. Biscuit, uh, what's your question of the day? What is your favorite Christmas gift as a child? Well, as a twin, I can tell you my favorite Christmas gift back in 1963 or 64 was a submarine. Yep, you heard it. It was a submarine. Full cardboard. My brother and I could sit in. The sail would lift off. We could sit into it, and it would shoot uh, plastic torpedoes out the front. Anyways, that was my favorite Christmas gift as a child. All right, this is a, one of those situations where if you were to go back in time to one of the previous tobacco advents, we'd probably answered this question. And, and 10 out of 10, we're going to answer it differently this time. And we specifically did not go back to check because you know what uh, our memories change and we figured let's let's answer this as honestly as we can if we went back we'd give you the same answer so favorite Christmas gift as a child oh I think I got it yep I got mine you got yours I have mine but in typical true to form fashion I am going to change the question. <laughs> okay. You want me to answer first? Sure. Favorite gift as a child is a bad question for my poor memory because I don't remember. <laughs> I'm, sh I I'm sure that as a child my favorite gift was something with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or Power Rangers. Almost undoubtedly. Um, but uh, for me I, I choose to interpret the question as okay. most memorable okay. gift, um, which which in my mind isn't even necessarily the gift that I used most, but just the reveal of the gift. And there are two that stand out. Um, one is uh, uh, my first ever BB gun, um, and the reason that stands out is because uh, I don't even know. It's one of those weird things where. I'm sure you hear it as you hear rumblings in the house that you, you're not even paying attention to as a kid and parents are talking about gifts and talking about things without realizing that their kids are listening and all of a sudden the kid's like, hey, tell me more about blah, blah, blah. Right? <laughs> <clears throat> so I'm sure it's one of those situations, but I remember Christmas morning, we had gone through all of the gifts, I think, it was the very last one, or maybe it, was even, maybe it wasn't even Christmas morning. It was uh, the night before or before, but I remember being asked, uh, hey, do you have any guess what that is? And I had the box. Uh, with but what the, else could it be, right? Right. Um, and I said, oh, is this, like a, is this like a toy gun or something? And I remember the reaction from my parents were like, you peaked. 
You weren't allowed to peek at the gifts. You're in trouble <laughs> because you must have looked. Because how else could you know? So I know I didn't look. I, I didn't look. It, it's just a guess. It's just a guess. And so I remember that. I also remember going on a scavenger hunt. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if I was younger or older at that time, but uh, going on a scavenger hunt to find pieces, bits and pieces of a uh, workbench that uh, I then had to figure out what in the heck is this thing that I'm finding these wooden pieces for. Which you then, you helped build the workbench. Mm -hmm. So you were hunting for bench dogs and, and components like that. Um, funny you would say that. My uh, my favorite gift was a BB gun. Yeah. Um, I, I have a picture of me with that BB gun. In fact, I will add it to Instagram today. How about that? So look on Instagram, you will see me and my BB gun. I was probably maybe fourth grade, something like that. Mm. And um, it was the first of a couple BB guns. I took very good care of them, although one of them got slammed in the car door one day. And um, I, I still, for years, used that gun and was the only person who knew how to aim it because it had a slight little little crook in it. And you could <laughs> aim it, and I could, and, and hit, it, hit a target dead on. But, um, yeah, it was, it was such, a, such an adult gift, you know, uh -huh. as a kid that... You know, my parents are trusting me with this, and my sisters are fearing me with this, so that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it was just the classic Red Rider style mm -hmm. BB gun. Um, I, like I said, I, I've had three BB rifles, and then we ended up buying some Russian rifles at one time. Russian BB gun rifles. Mm. Um, when you were a kid or a teenager or something, they weren't great. We just, there was just one of those, you know, when all the, the, the Russian weapons were just flooding onto the market, they were just super cheap. So we got one for you and one for your sister. Still oh, have, I know we still have one of those. Uh, yeah. In, in the, the garage. House. Yeah. It's uh, one that you actually break the barrel right. open. Is that a BB gun? I think that's actually a pellet gun. I don't remember. I think, I think that takes the, uh, <laughs> little lead pellets. <laughs> little lead pellets. Yeah. Looks like a moon lander. You shove in there, <laughs> close it up. <laughs> Yeah, um, I remember playing with that around around the house. You know, we had enough land that that was fine. I also remember, and I'm sorry to our neighbors, shooting the dog once or twice. The neighbor's dog. I was little. I didn't know. What? I yeah. I yeah. Where was this? I, in Beaver Creek. At Tanglewood. I didn't know you were doing that. Shame on you. I think I did it once. What do you mean you didn't know? I think I did it once. Shame and on you. I'm, I'm ashamed of you. Hold your head in shame. There you go. That's how it's done, gentlemen. <laughs> uh, okay, so curious about a couple things. The first one, have, have you had this hazelnut? Um, I'm a, assuming this is probably a Lane product. Um, it, it, it's not disclosed here, but that'd be my guess. A bulk tobacco. Uh, what'd you think of it? And how would you answer today's question? Um, biscuit, you're getting uh, a cornament for this. Again, we appreciate all your efforts in getting those videos shot for us and to us. Um, that's a big help for us and we've really enjoyed having people collaborate with us on mm -hmm. these videos and there's still time to get us more tobacco and for you to be involved and for you to earn your very own cornament. Contact me at aristocob at gmail.com and I'll send you a link to a private video that explains all the details of what uh, we need from you. With that, we're going to wrap it up for today. We'll see you again tomorrow, and make it a great day. See you guys later. Videos, if there's still time to get us more tobacco, and for you to be involved, for you to earn your very tournament, contact me at aristocollegegmail.com, and I'll send you a link to a private video that explains all the details of what you have to do. With that, we're going to wrap it up for today. We'll see you again tomorrow, and make it a great day. See you guys later.